Okay, well, uh, I need to get that shed done, but I think today we're going to try to pick up some of these rocks out of this garden. I got both the kids out here. One of them is a little more lazy than the other one. Gee, I wonder which one. The lazy one, raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll see how many of these rocks we can get picked up today. Probably should record this because mommy will never believe that Lennon was actually doing anything. Calm down. Plenty of rocks for everyone. Tip it up, bub. I ain't gonna tip it for you. You are lazy. Tip it. It almost went out of my nose. Did you get any? Yeah. Why do you get, why are you carrying around that? This job isn't that hard. It's just carrying rocks back and forth. This wagon's almost full. Once it's full, we'll take a big break. At least 15 minutes. No, I'm not lying. Trust me, I don't ever lie about taking breaks. And then you will. Oh, there's a lot of things. Rocks. Oh, you can sit on. You can sit on the top of the rock pile. I'm walking. We probably won't take it real far. We'll probably just go like... I don't know. I don't know where to make the rock pile yet. Are you making a video right now? Right now, yeah. Why? What? You farted. Ah! Ah! That's what happens sometimes when you're working hard and just whoop right out. Right? There's an echo. Pick up those. Uh. Well, the kids are wanting to cook up some hot dogs, so they're making a fire. Hot 
I'll just sit here and shave off some of this dead wood to go in there. Lennon, put the seat back on the lawnmower. See all them like big sticks and stuff right over there? Mm -hmm. Go grab yeah. some of them. <laughs> no, the big ones, bub. This is a big one. A microwave vibrates those super fast and causes friction and heat. Yeah. Why does it have to shake the... That's how it works. Here, Bub. They have toaster ovens, but microwaves are faster. That's the that's the whole thing about it. Well, my body not really one to talk too much about eating habits, but when you eat, you really should not eat until you feel full. Go pick that up. You really should not eat until you feel full. You should only eat until you don't feel hungry anymore. Like right now, you probably don't feel like you're hungry. I'm, I'm talking about like if you haven't eaten for three or four hours, you feel hungry. You really want something to eat. But like right now, you probably just want to eat because you're eating or whatever. It's not because you're super hungry anymore. I don't know why, but for some reason, I enjoy working outside. Like I don't know. 
I can't really help you out or whatever because I don't really understand when people don't like to work outside because I just, it's fun to me. So whenever people say like, oh, this is terrible or I hate this, I don't really, I don't even know how to talk to them because I don't understand. Actually, I don't really like money because you don't have any choice. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Maybe one day you'll have a choice. I don't know. I doubt it, though. I wish there was no money and like people would just do stuff for each other to be nice or trade stuff. I hope you guys just heard that. A 10 year old gets it, but everybody else in the country doesn't. Yeah. That's how it used to be, and that's how it should be, but everybody's just too greedy and selfish to work for anybody else without getting even more in return. Well, that's the end of our day. Not because we're out of daylight, but because something happened. But it's looking a lot better. We've got quite a big area cleared out. Uh, basically from the fence to about, oh good, 12 or 14 feet over. We got just about every single rock there is, so... pretty good now right here at this stump the rocks start up again but all that is is clear till I till it up anyway but look at what happened I tore my wagon all the crap pretty sure both the front tires are supposed to turn the same direction not opposite each other Rated for 1,200 pounds, my flippin' behind. Look at this little thin, hold on. That little thin metal right there. I can bend that metal, not the, not the grating, but the down in there. That little thing they're using as a tie rod or whatever. They, <laughs> that's like a sixteenth of an inch thick. I can bend that with my hand. Now how's that rated for 1,200 pounds? By the way, I got this at Tractor Supply and it was $120, so if you come across the same deal, don't get it. This really makes me mad though. $120 to me is quite a freaking bit, and you know, I'm getting tired of trusting these freaking companies. You know, when it says rated for 1,200 pounds, that means I want to be able to put 1,200 pounds in the box and haul it around without crap like this happening. 1,200 pounds should be the safe load. You know, it should, if it's rated for 1,200 pounds, it should probably be able to carry 1,600 pounds, but just rate it to be safe. This kind of crap right here, let me see if I can get down low enough. Look how thin that freaking metal is. When it's crap like that, I feel like it's a deliberate attack from tractor supply to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel deliberately taken advantage of. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll never buy one single thing from tractor supply ever again, so. Thanks, Tractor Supply. You're the best.